Hey everybody, this is Sam's Wrestling Overtime with your results show for WWE's Elimination Chamber that was held in Philadelphia tonight on March the 8th. 2020. As always, this is the nitty gritty, down and dirty, uh, quick and easy results show where if you just want to know who won and what storylines kind of got furthered along, this is the podcast you want to listen to. Uh, first match of the night was on the kickoff show, and some of you could have saw it for free on YouTube or on uh, Facebook, but the Viking Raiders came out to face Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins, and they used the Viking experience to pin Zack Ryder and win the match. Uh, there was no reason for this match, and it didn't further any storylines. We're not even sure why they showed it but our first match of the actual pay-per-view that kicked off right after the kickoff show was Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulak and I'm telling you after thinking about it this may have been the best match of the night um Bryan and Gulak put on a heck of a show and Daniel Bryan ended up putting the yes lock on Drew Gulak Drew Gulak did not tap out. Let me repeat that. He did not tap out because he didn't want to give up. So what he actually ended up doing was passing out. So Daniel Bryan got the victory after Drew Gulak passed out to his yes lock. After that, we saw probably for the millionth time, uh, Andrade bringing out Zelina, I can't talk tonight, Zelina Vega versus Humberto, and using Humberto's tights on a roll-up pin, Andrade wins, and of course, everyone's calling him a cheater and wanting a rematch. Well, these guys, according to Sean Ross Sapp, have taken each other on seven times since December. I don't feel like seeing an eighth time. Can we end this program already? Then we had the Tag Team Elimination Chamber match. Now, I'm not going to go into big, long rants or raves about a lot of things that happened, but I'm going to tell you, somebody went through the whole entire wall of the cage or of the chamber. And if you really think about it, you probably know who it was. They did not spiderweb the plastic or glass that holds them together like Nia Jax did. They actually took out the wall. But anyway, Lucha House Party got eliminated by Heavy Machinery. Heavy Machinery then got eliminated by Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode. Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode then got eliminated by the Usos. The New Day got eliminated by Miz and Morrison. And then the final two teams were the Usos and Miz and Morrison. And the Usos are the ones that got eliminated. Miz and Morrison retained their tag team title belts. And if you want to hear about that match in detail and all the different things that happened, you need to return to the Rants and Ray or Raves and Rants or Rants and Raves review show that will be following this. Um, after that, we had a surprise. AJ uh, Styles in a no disqualification match took on Alistair Black. Of course, he came down to the ring with the OC, but the OC did not get involved for the first 13 minutes of the match. Why? Uh, we don't know. But they did, however, use some tables, chairs, kendo sticks, and an announcer's table. However, when o the OC decided to get involved, we heard a famous dong with the lights going out. So anyway, I'll tell you the end of the match, because you can always find out on the Raves and Rants review. 
exactly who showed up and what they did, but what happened was Alistair Black used Black Mass to beat AJ Styles. Then we had um, the rematch for the tag team titles. The Street Profits took on Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy, and they used a frog splash to pin Murphy to retain the titles. However, someone that has been messing with Seth Rollins for quite a while now showed up eating some popcorn. So, to find out who that is, make sure you listen to the Raves and Rants review. Um, Braun Strowman was in the three-on-one handicap match versus Sami Zayn, Cesaro, and Shinsuke. And basically, Sami ran away anytime Braun tried to get these hands on him, leaving Cesaro and Shinsuke to do his dirty work. And they did. But Sammy, Sammy Zane, was actually who pinned Braun, and Sammy Zane is your new Intercontinental title champion. And then, the main event of the night, the one that we all wanted to see, was the women's elimination chamber match to see who would face Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. Sarah Logan was eliminated by Shayna Baszler. She put her to sleep in the clutch. Ruby Riot was eliminated by Shayna Baszler. She tapped out to the clutch. Natty was eliminated by Shayna Baszler by tapping out in the clutch. Liv Morgan was eliminated by Shayna in front of Asuka's pod while Shayna was sitting on the ring post and put her to sleep. She took a nap. And then the final two were Asuka versus Shayna. And we had to ask ourselves, was she going to tap? Was she going to nap? Or was Shayna going to snap that injured wrist of Asuka? Well, Asuka got eliminated by Shayna by tapping. And Shayna Baszler won the match and is going to WrestleMania to face Becky Lynch. And even though Becky Lynch was watching... Uh, backstage on a monitor did not come out and they did not interview her. So, I guess they are leaving that for the shows this week. Just so you know, this was an average pay-per-view. It's probably not worth looking up on YouTube or Daily Motion or trying to find somewhere to see it for free. And if you missed it on the WWE Network, just uh, watch the highlights that are in the news section or under the pay-per-view section. Do not watch this whole pay-per-view. It is not worth it. But anyway, that is your quick and easy, down and dirty, nitty-gritty results show, and I will see you guys soon. Do not forget to listen to the Raves and Ransom Reviews show if you want to go in detail about this pay-per-view. See you soon!